Welcome back everyone. Today's highly requested video, kitchen gadgets and essentials that I cannot live without. Now, I need a lot of things in the kitchen. I cook and I bake almost daily. I do one or the other. I also meal prep my own food. So not only do I cook for my family, I, I cook my food, my clean eating food. And if you want to know more about that, watch my recent video where I shared what I eat in a day at the age of 51. That will give you all the details. So I'm using a lot of things on the daily. I am someone that needs a fully stocked kitchen. If you don't cook or bake a lot, you probably just need the simple basics. But if you're like me, there's things that you need. And I'm not gonna share every single thing with you. We would be here all day because again, I need a fully stocked kitchen. I also entertain all the time. I host parties and I do the cooking and the baking for them. I outsource a few things, but for the most part, I'm cooking and baking and I cook and bake from scratch. It's not your boxed things. I don't open up packages. Rarely does that happen. I cook completely from scratch. In fact, today I'm cooking a whole full-blown meal with plenty of items from scratch. So, and if you don't know what scratch means, just it's you're following a recipe. You're putting it together following a recipe and check out the recipe tab on my personal brand website. Link will be provided. What I'm gonna share today, and it's gonna be a little fun in vlog style, and you'll see plenty of my husband, Paul, in the footage as well. I am going to share those things that literally will set me off, and not a lot sets me off. If you know me and follow me, you know that I don't get set off or triggered too easily. Maybe back 20, 30 years ago, but not today. But if I cannot find the items that I share with you today, I'm a little triggered. My buttons are a little pushed. Yes, you heard me. So that's all that I'm gonna share. I'm not gonna share everything. Links to everything that I share with you will be in the description box below, as well as on the corresponding blog post, which is the top link and where I always recommend you do your shopping from. In fact, maybe there will be images in there just to make it a little bit easier. So I will share everything with you. If there's something that's old, I'll, I'll find an alternate. Some, some items I will literally share with you that I have more than one. And, and that's because that's how often I use it and there's nothing more frustrating than something being dirty. So there are some things that I have more than one and I actually wouldn't even mind having additional, crazy as that sounds. So again, let me take you along a little bit of vlog style. Not everything you are going to see in motion, but you'll see a few things. I think this will be really fun. I really appreciate you being here. Please use my links, tell people about me, and let's take a look at my kitchen gadgets and essentials that I cannot live without. This is the food chopper. Paul loves this unit, can't live without it. So he's prepping onions right now. Yeah, and then this is great for um, pony dogs or anytime you want an onion that's square. It's a very nice unit. Yeah, if you want a to top that can clean it. Yeah, if you're topping onion on something and you want it chopped, this is your unit. Now, if you're putting onion in a casserole or something like that and you want it more and you want it more grated or finer chopped, then you would use a different unit. Yeah, and then I'll show you what it looks like. It's easy to clean as well. You just take this apart. And then also this comes apart as well. And then you can see here it makes nice little squares. Perfect for Coney dogs. Yep, and the reason he set it on a towel is it's in the morning and Chloe is still sleeping. Because it, you know, it's a loud little, little. Yep, and then you can clean it. You rinse water on it and then you can clean it with this little pit. Yep, there you go, food chopper. A whisk is very important to me. I actually have two, and that's because it gets used a lot. Again, if you cook a lot and bake a lot, you're gonna get a lot of uses out of a whisk. If you don't, I don't know. It just it just really depends. All right, now I am whisking up and preparing to make a cheese sauce. 
for macaroni and cheese. Again, using the whisk. Paul is setting up over here another must have item. We'll share that in just a minute. Here's another unit that we can't be without. A lot of the recipes that we prepare call for shredded cheese, but you don't want to use bagged. You don't want to use bagged cheese for something like the macaroni and cheese that I'm making. So here's already shredded. We've got some sharp cheddar cheese. We got some Gruyere cheese over there that will be shredded. But yes, this is also a must have. So easy breezy, easy to clean up, love it. We've got some Gruyere oh, cheese yeah. coming out. Looking good. We need two cups of that. Holly is at the machine. Got to have patience. Take it easy. Got the whisk going over here, making the cheese sauce. All of the sharp cheddar is in there. Yeah. We're just waiting for the Gruyere. The Pampered Chef microwave, microwavable pan. We have two of these. As you can tell, it gets a lot of love. If you need to melt butter for something, this is great. If you need to melt chocolate for something, this is great. It's got a lid that you can attach on. I don't know if I can do it with one hand, but basically you attach it, you microwave it. I'm actually making a panko topping for the mac and cheese. So cannot be without this. Again, everything that I'm sharing, these are items I would be lost without. If I am making egg salad or ground beef, I would, I, I just couldn't do it <laughs> without this. We have the unit, this little guy right here that my mom bought us also to use for ground beef. I never use it. I'll probably just give it to one of the kids. This is tried and true. This is what I grew up with my mom using for egg salad and ground beef or ground turkey, any of your ground meats. And I just, it's the best. So cannot be without that either. Here's another look at the microwave pan by Pampered Chef. I just steamed up some broccoli for little June Bug to have with her lunch for today, and I'll probably have some as well. So this pan is also great for steaming. Another wonderful use for the Pampered Chef pan is, is using it to drain your ground beef, your ground turkey, whatever it is. It really works great for this purpose. And that's what we're doing because we're having cheeseburger soup. As you can see, let's check it out. Oh yeah, coming along. I have to make the roux, the cream sauce. I just put the shredded cheese in there and Ground beef will be next. The food chopper that I mentioned that I love for hamburger, again, grew up with one of these in my home when I was a child or a teen, and I did a lot of cooking because I had a working mom. And again, I've tried the Pampered Chef unit, and because someone, I think, gifted that to me, never could, I, it just didn't, it just doesn't do, doesn't do the job, so would be lost without this. I don't know what I'd do. I would have to resort to using that, but yeah, it would be a little stressful <laughs> if I couldn't find my chopper. And again, I also use this for egg salad. It's perfect. Another thing I would be lost without is these metal mixing bowls. Now there's different sizes. I have three of the size you're looking at. This is my favorite. It, the, this size gets used the most. I'm getting ready to make coleslaw, homemade coleslaw right from scratch. Actually shredded the cabbage with a food processor. While I love my food processor, that's not something I feel like I couldn't live without. It doesn't get used a ton, but if I'm making coleslaw, it does. I actually prefer to shred my own cabbage for coleslaw versus buying the bag. I can just taste the preservatives or chemicals in bagged 
type stuff. It's handy if you're in a pinch, definitely recommend it. But I just, I do things from scratch. So we've got the dressing. Don't forget all of my recipes are on the recipe tab on the Tracy Hensel website. Here's the grated carrots, which for that I used, let me see if I can find it. Why am I not? Oh, there it is. This unit here, so I used this side. This is a handheld grater. I cannot be without this unit. If I just need to quickly shred some cheese, this is what I'm going to use. I have a lot of recipes where I use shredded carrots, or that's one of the ingredients. I use this to shred carrots. I really don't use anything else on here, but I, yep, I've had, I grew up using one of these as a, as a kid when I had to make dinner when my mom was at work. I would be lost without it. So everything I'm sharing here, yep, have to have, just wouldn't be in a good place without them. Just used my grater to grate some cheese. So if I just need cheese and I really don't need anything else, I resort to this versus the rotary one. When I use that rotary one, we needed a lot of cheese for mac and cheese, but this is just shredding a block real quick to top on the cheeseburger soup. So it's just really quick for me to do this. This cleans up really well. I just, I kind of get the little bit of scrapings out of there and then I just throw it in the dishwasher just like this. I don't even rinse it out. Obviously measuring cups, I love the all clad and I have the kind of like extended version of the all clad where you get more sizes. Because I cook and bake so much, it's worth it for me to have all the extras. If you don't cook and bake a lot, you probably could just go with the simple, the simple measurements. But for me, I need the whole shebang. Another item that I can't be without is a little strainer like this. We actually have two. This one is broken. It gets so much love. The other one is in the dishwasher. I use this a couple of times a day just for my food. I have chicken breast in here. I rinse my chicken breast under cold water and then I push out the excess liquid. The other thing that I use this for is if I just have some berries that maybe I'm preparing for June, I'll just throw them in here to rinse them off. And then the other purpose of this that gets a ton of love because I love to bake is I use this to sift my dry ingredients. I put my flour in there, whatever dry ingredients that I have, like baking soda, baking powder, and I sift it into the mixing bowl. It's really important to sift your dry ingredients. So a strainer is a must for me. Again, showing you the strainer that I just also use for sifting flour when I make baked goods. You can get a flour sifter, but I don't really see the need for it. I just use this. Another item cannot live without is this spatula right here. Now I love all of my rubber spatulas, especially my Pampered Chef, but this one is kind of, as you can see, a little bit, it scoops and it's the perfect size. I probably use this more than I do any of the other ones, but I do use all of them. So I will have all of the Pampered Chef scrapers that I have linked, but yeah, love this one. I have two and I actually really, really, really would like a couple more. Yeah, hint, hint, whoever wants to, you know, if they've got a Pampered Chef business, hint, hint. <laughs> Kitchen scissors specifically for cutting food. We have three pairs of kitchen scissors and there are times when all three are dirty. That is how often they get used. One of the biggest food items that I use the kitchen scissors for is green onion. A lot of our dishes have green onion as one of the ingredients and green onions are great to top things. So certain dishes. So I have some cut up here 
for today's leftovers, which is cheeseburger soup. And then I am preparing an overnight egg bake right now that will go in the refrigerator overnight and it will bake tomorrow. And it calls for one fourth cup of sliced green onion. Here's the egg bake that I am assembling right now. This eight inch square baker is another must have. I love my bakers. This gets a lot of use. There's a lot of dishes that I prepare that are for an eight by eight. This includes dessert. Another baker that I love is this one here, this oval baker. I use this a lot as well, and it's great for dips. This is the baker that I use for my spinach artichoke dip. So these are two must haves. And again, there's that grater. The mini food prep that I cannot live without. Again, we have two of these. This is one of two, the newer one. Don't know if I've already shared footage of the other one. I can't recall everything I've taken footage of. While I absolutely love a good garlic press, and this is a good one, I'll have it linked. I do love a good garlic press, but I will share with you, if I am going to be using the mini food prep for something, I'll, and I need garlic, so we have some fresh garlic, we go through a ton of garlic. A lot of our recipes call for garlic. I always have to have garlic on hand. But if I am already going to use my food prep, I will just throw my garlic in there because I already need this unit anyways, instead of just my garlic press. I use both, both are a must. Again, I cook a lot. I also had shredded some cheese here. It's Saturday afternoon, the weekend before this video goes out, and I am making chicken broccoli braid for Paul and I to munch on for dinner tonight. Chicken broccoli braid is amazing. That recipe is on the recipe tab. Check it out. More of the little mini food prep. Paul is getting the onion ready for dinner for tomorrow night. That is something that he does to help me out. So I can just throw everything into the crock pot. When we want our onion very, very diced, I mean like grated practically, like for a casserole or something like that versus the food chopper, when you want it more in larger dicing, um, because you're topping it with something, like when we had Coney dogs. This is going in chicken taco chili. I have everything set up because I organized tomorrow today, so everything is set up. You'll see some of the things that I've talked about that I can't live without. Can't live out without my frame back there. Make sure you click the link for that. That is the best, but crock pot is out. Chicken taco chili for tomorrow. I will start it at 6 a.m., so the only thing that needed to be chopped up is the onion, which is pretty easy breezy for him. And that will go in the refrigerator to help me in the morning. Meanwhile, you are looking at fried potatoes and onions. Wooden spoons. I love, love, love wooden spoons. I have several, including this heart one here. Uh, I just, they get a lot of use. Now, I don't put the wooden spoons in the dishwasher. So you may not be a wooden spoon type of gal if you are someone who just isn't okay hand washing things. Uh, it, it just, wood, wood items really aren't supposed to go in the dishwasher. So my wooden spoons always look like new even though they get plenty of love and that is because I take such good care of them. But love all different sizes as far as handle, um, the actual spoon part, different shapes. I will burn them. I will burn them just for you. <laughs> we both like them burnt and crispy. Chicken broccoli braid is about to go in the oven, but another tool I cannot be without is this little basting or barbecue brush. So I just topped the broccoli braid with a 
uh, whipped up egg white just so that it doesn't get burnt on top. But I use this brush almost daily, even to brush olive oil on my salmon before I bake it in the oven. So this is a must as well. This may not be a kitchen gadget, but I will tell you, I cannot be without my parchment pre-cut sheets. These are Kroger brand, which is a local grocery store, but you can get these on Amazon. I will have them linked. Another item cannot live without is our crock pots. I cannot tell you how much love this one especially gets. I actually have a second crock pot this size. Sometimes I need two. So this crock pot gets used once or twice a week, if not more. And then it's so key to have this smaller size as well. So what we have going on is we're having Coney dogs tonight. We have some Coney sauce. Coney dogs may be a Michigan thing. If you live in other states, you may not know what a Coney dog is. Um, you're missing out if you don't. They're amazing. Not healthy at all. And then we have a bunch of dogs. These are Kogel Viennas for anyone familiar with Flint, Michigan. That is where Kogel Viennas are made. So we are having Coney's along with our mac and cheese, which is getting ready to go in the oven. So even dishes like this are so important to have. This one's old, but I will link some. I have a couple different ones. So important because then you have something to put your hot dish in. And then of course, serving bowls are so key. This is my coleslaw that's ready to go for tonight. Another must have item is a metal colander. I have three sizes, I believe. So I have this one, which is more medium. And we have a really large one here. And then we have a small one right there. But I am actually draining potatoes that were in the refrigerator overnight, covered with cold water, so that I can start my crock pot first thing in the morning. It's actually about 6.15 right now. And uh, it's really important that vegetables are always prepped and ready to go for me. And again, another day with the crock pot meal. I get so much use out of my slow cooker. You're looking at another crock pot meal, chicken taco chili, recipe on the recipe tab. Uh, make this all the time just because of the easy breezy. Again, crock pot. <laughs> I use slow cookers so much. That's why I have two. Also, there's a lot of little extras that are just little things that I prefer to have, like a spoon rest. I have three of these white ones here, and I also have, so you can see there, and then I also have these wood ones. So, I love having stuff like this, but I entertain. So having an abundance of the little things make a big difference. I almost feel like a entertaining pieces I can't live without could be a video for itself because there's a lot of people that cook and bake and they need these kitchen items. Let's say you're getting married. This is a great video for you if you're going to be making your bridal registry, but maybe you don't entertain. Maybe you have a house full of pets and you just entertaining isn't really something that you find enjoyment in or interest in. That's okay. Um, and you don't need a lot of the extras. But I will just, I will try to be very detailed of what I link in the description box, or I should say on the corresponding blog post. But I do really feel just a entertaining must-haves because there are just so many things. Here's uh, the Pampered Chef large, large uh, spatula that I use for stirring things up. <laughs> Once again, you can tell it's gotten a lot of love. I have two of these. The other one's in a little better condition. Uh, not even sure what happened to this one. It didn't get melted, if that's what you're wondering, um, because these can take the heat, and I wouldn't leave them inside something anyway, but another must. You're looking at my Oreo chocolate chip bars. They are about ready to go into the oven. 
Having sprinkles on hand for all the different holidays, if you like to bake, especially with little ones, is very important. I'm getting low on these Valentine sprinkles. I may order some more just to be safe, but getting ready to put this in the oven. Obviously a metal cake pan is a must have for making bars like these. I like my more casserole 13 by nines for doing like a dish, like my cheesy potatoes or something like that. More of these type of dishes for that. When you're doing a bar, you're gonna end up cutting the bars so they're not even going to stay in the pan. With all the baking that I do, I need all the sizes of cookie scoops. And I'll be honest, I actually like to use the largest one the most because I have kind of a little technique that I do to cookies to ensure that they are very, very soft, chewy, yummy in the center. Uh, we don't prefer our cookies to be crunchy our entire family, all of our girls, we like really soft, doughy mm, cookies. And why do we love this? <laughs> I love my Dyson. We love our Dyson, yes. While this may not exactly be a kitchen gadget, it really is, because it stays in the kitchen and it just gets used daily. Love it. Oh, we've got Miss Cleaner here. We've got Miss Cleaner. We've got our little cleaner who brought her broom over. Oh no, Poppy's getting me. Poppy's getting me. Oh no. I shared in my recent body care products in routine video that uh, I don't like to dip my hand into my body creams. It is 6.33 a.m. and I am putting my body moisturizer on and it made me, it reminded me that I wanted to tell you about this little mini skinny scraper that I use to scoop out my moisturizer, my body moisturizer, apply it to my hands and then apply it to my skin. So just another little thing, there'd be a lot of purposes for this. I do have one in the kitchen. It's great for cleaning out a jar or something like that. So very multi-purpose, definitely recommend it. Well, there you have it. 
kitchen gadgets and essentials that I cannot live without. Share in the comments section if you have some of these same essentials in your home and if they are a must have and you would be lost, triggered or penetrated or buttons pushed if you couldn't find them or if there's something else that you have in your kitchen that you just can't be without. I always love to hear and I read all of the comments. So thanks for being here. This was a lot of fun and be sure to check out my recent videos. All of those will be linked on the corresponding blog post, including what I mentioned about what I eat in a day, my tip Tuesdays, and so many other things. Make sure to subscribe, hit that bell so that you get immediate notification as soon as I publish one of these fun and awesome videos and all my life tip videos. Be sure to check me out. All right, take care.